Hey, you. Hey, you. What are you doing? Hey. Are you playing? Are you playing? Do you want to come out? Or are you just doing a Maya's thing? Hey. At the door. Wanting to come out. But when mum opens the door, you go, mm, well, maybe, maybe not. Hey, going to come out? You're welcome to come out for a little while. Why not? Why not? Lily's out. Yeah, I know, it's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, uh, oh, I tell you, this girl is um, who she is, which is very, very independent, of course, very, very stubborn. Are you not? And for me, somehow, the pretty they are, prettier they are, the more of that attitude that they have like they are the best of the best and I can say honestly that this has come and done sweetie so mum will try and stick sorry guys I'm just sticking her thing back up for her all right I didn't really do anything that bad. I'm just sticking your hammock back up. Like I said, you have to just keep a check on the um, suction cups and give them a re-suction every now and again. Hey, you going to come out? Ugh. You're just so long that um, I have great difficulty in getting you out. Hey? She's certainly not a snake that you can get out uh, one-handed. Not at all, this girl. And so, so active that even when I do get her out, she is non-non-stop. Aren't you, Amaya? But she's young, you know, a very young snake. She's still learning so many things at this particular point in her life. And yeah, I've had a mare for over a year. She's not defensive. Uh, she's never been one to strike at all, which is how you absolutely want them. But, As for coming out, you know, she's a bit of a trickster, I call her. Gives all those signals and yet I offer it and she doesn't really move. And of course doesn't really choose then to come out either. So, I generally, to a greater degree, um, make a mayor a little bit more so to come on out. And uh, she generally will go in the opposite direction to me or she'll stand her ground, depending on the mood that she's in. And so, I have to kind of gauge whether this is going to be I will snap you if you keep coming or I'm going to take off if you keep coming so even though it's not exactly a feed day is it Missy are we going to be coming out and I know you don't like bright lights at all so we coming? 
<laughs> Are we going to come on out? And this is, she was oblivious to my hand coming towards her. So that's what I mean about Emmaus sight. It really is not on point. And I see this all the time. Now you'll see that she has been rather, you know, people would consider that to be defensive behavior. I just see that as, are you going to touch me? Not, she's going to actually bite me at all. Now, have I ever read a Maya wrong? Well, so far, fortunately, touching some wood down here. No, I haven't read her wrong. But I, of course, don't go in straight to her face either. That would be an extremely foolish thing for me to do. So what I'll do is I'll go up from underneath. I'll touch her just to let her know. And then, and she does not look like me. Ah. <clears throat> See? She does not like me. Mm, really, I guess the word is that I am grabbing her. And, and she's not keen on it. But I think that does have an awful lot to do with well now you're curling yourself around everything and making it really difficult for me so I'm better off her going down to the ground and me approaching her that way and getting her all the way down and it looks really terrible for a mayor. And I'd understand people saying, she just wants to be left alone, just leave her alone. But if I went by that manner from her all of the time, I would never ever get this young girl out. And the thing is with a mayor, is once she is out, I don't, I don't have, um, oh, did that, um, come off. Where did I have that connected to? Well, I don't really know now. So I'm going to have to actually get her out so I can find it and uh, fix it. Hey, I know, I know. Well, and like I've said to you before, Amaya is certainly one that would jump out of my arms, but not to bite me. And she's frantic and appears frantic. And honestly, she is. So now I have to, before I actually put her home, <clears throat> figure out how to fix that. Hey, how to fix it for you. So, anyway, that's yes. certainly a maya. And how she can be a lot of the time coming out. And as usual, once she's out, she's not overly concerned by me and touching her or doing anything with her. It's just getting her out. And you may see, like I said, that she's frantic and she, she's not wanting to come out and, and all the rest of it, but she can't stay like that forever. And, you know, it is just the way that a mayor is. And, I've sometimes got to do what I've got to do. But, it's about me just sometimes opening a door. Sorry about all the glare. Just letting her do a thing and keeping my eye on her and seeing 
where she's going when she comes out. And she will eventually come out and make her way over here. She just does it in her own time. You know, we tend to be people that go in and grab them and bring them out. And sometimes, you know, you've seen me get Jack out because he's been a lazy guy, you know, for days and, and hasn't really done very much of anything. But all in all, in general, I will just open their door and give them time to think about it. And you can say, yep, curiosity gets the better of them. Eventually that curiosity gets the better of them. But also my snakes know that once they're out, they get to explore and they get to do things. And she can have a little bit of an explore on there for now which my girl does quite often just hangs on the jungle gym has a little bit of a look around she's down there right now but she'll just keep on exploring and but you're not going on the ground okay because believe me people ask me are snakes fast and aren't you worried about them getting away and no I'm not actually um, this little girl believe me she can she can move she's probably my most fastest and most energetic out of all of my snakes and Maya is um, even to the degree sometimes she's so excited that she could literally fall out of my hands and it just wouldn't, or jump off of me. It just doesn't bother her. And that's not because she's afraid of me and wanting to get away from me at all. She just gets so excited to come out and explore and check things out that she loses all sense of everything um, in that excitement. But, there she is, poking her little head out are you? Yes, I'm watching you and where you are today. She can have a little bit of playtime. Okay. Will do you good. You going to come on out? Hey. I'm waiting. And that's what it is. Patience, waiting. There can be a lot of waiting sometimes, but that's all a part of it. Yep. Coming out. She says, oh, you're just still continuing to touch me, Mum. Well, didn't even have your head. All right, guys. Remember, take the time. When you do a clean out, spend a little time with them before you put them back. If you get them out and you're just cleaning up and that's your sole purpose of originally getting them out is to clean up their home for them. But then it should turn into letting them know that you care about them as well. And that's you start to create a relationship with your snake and they start to understand I'm not just something you grab out when you need to clean and a lot of snakes that's the only time that they actually do get held hey and that's a shame That's a real, real shame. Hey. Hey, sweetie. Yep. Coming out. She says, oh, you're just still continuing to touch me, Mum. Well, didn't even have your head. All right, guys. 
remember, take the time. When you do a clean out, spend a little time with them before you put them back. They'll really appreciate it. So remember, take care of yourself and your family and your friends and your snakes and all your animals. Ciao.